and uh, let's go here to detach table so we can sort of follow along with what's going on here with the combined fuel trim if we just sort of shrink this down here and we can watch the combined fuel trim and watch where we're sweeping in the table. Now we're not going to make our changes. Um, I find that my laptop freezes up and in fact that last live training video my laptop actually did freeze up uh, when I try to make editing changes in this mode here where we're tracking the log and uh, we have it detached so I need just to be mindful of closing this out. If I want to make a change then I'll actually go in and uh, I'll do that not in this tracing mode here because it, it, it's an issue for my laptop. It might, it might not be for yours, but it for sure is for mine. So put it in gear here and let's try this. We can see right where we're operating at. We can see the combined fuel trim showing that it needs fuel. That's okay. We're just going to collect the data right now. It's correcting all that for us. Yeah, we can see it definitely needs some more fuel here. Let's bring it up at RPM. return to idle. Now a few things about this. Returning back into idle, it is not having any kind of stalling problems or any kind of odd problems. Actually returned to idle pretty well there. Now we did turn off the idle air clamp. I usually do that with speed density. I think in that last video I actually kept it checked on the the other second gen Eclipse. Um, I kept that checked on. It, it was fine. Everything worked. But this vehicle um, it's not doing anything odd with the idle air clamp turned off. So I'm going to leave it off. Um, let's go here and let's just close this out also jump back in here and click track data log off. Let's go here and stop our capture and now we can take some of the data that we capture from our log here and go back and put it into the table. So if I go and right click here and I go here to SDVE adjust combined fuel trim, if I click this it's going to be telling me it's going to be making the changes essentially for me. I'll click continue and the data points right here that it has in black, that's the data points it updated based on what it was showing us here in the combined fuel trim. Let's go and zoom out on this Let's go to one to one. This is going to be our essentially our driving log here. We can see what the combined fuel trim is showing us um, and the adjustments it was making. Now, uh, let me shut it off here so it's a little bit easier to talk. Let me shut my turbo timer down here as well. Key back on. So if we're taking a look at this, um, we can see it's adding here 12% fuel. Essentially, what it's telling us is that we need to go back in and correct the volumetric efficiency table by up to 12%. So it's off right there. Um, looking here just kind of thanks for checking out our teaser clip if you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current efi training we have to offer make sure you click right here if you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we are going to be releasing on this channel so make sure you subscribe and click here thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later